Hello everyone, it's me again. Today my topic is World or God. So the last time I talked about the problem of Darwin, the theory of evolution, there are so many question marks to challenge the theory, such as from the point of view of molecular biology and the complexity of the cell and the lack of evidence of fossils of intermediate species, etc. All of these have shown that this theory only is at the level of hypothesis. In probability, it is impossible for an organism to evolve from one species to another species. So meanwhile, uh, there is such, uh, there's much evidence from the field of archaeologists and astronomies that can challenge theory of evolution. But today we don't talk about that. Well, when we learn about science, there's a, a systematic method, it's called the uh, scientific method or scientific reasoning. Briefly, it consists of questions, observations, hypotheses, experiments, data, and conclusion. For example, I raise a question, which is, are dogs in Korea white color? After collecting the data, you can see the picture, on the 10,000 Korean dogs, I find out that all these dogs are white. And then I can make a conclusion, which is all dogs in Korea are white. So you can see this is a scientific conclusion. However, science can be falsified, which means it can prove the opposite side of it. In this case, it can be proved wrong by finding only one brown Korean dog like this. Although we might have observed one million stars, and these stars might have all followed the theory of relativity, we yet cannot say that the theory of relativity is correct. So it is a science. However, science is not the truth. It's not absolute. If people ask you, what do you believe? Please don't say, I believe in science, because you believe, you believe in something uncertain. And it might be proved wrong in the future. So therefore, we only can believe all things, all these conclusions are right, like a religion. However, pursuing of knowledge outside morality is dangerous. You may ask, what is the absolute truth? It is not what scientists tell you. Albert Einstein spent a huge amount of his time correcting his mistakes. He made many mistakes. One of his mistakes was that he add a universal constant into his equations to show the universe is a stable and a changing place. However, the data or the redshift shows that the universe is expanding, which is getting bigger and bigger. It definitely is not what the famous people says. So what is absolute truth? The answer is the Word of God. John 17, chapter 17, verse 7 says, Sanctify them by the truth. Your word is truth. God's word is the truth. God's words tell, told us how this universe was created, how the human beings were created, why human beings were created, where human beings will go, etc. God's words tells us as human beings and Christians what we should do and what we shouldn't do. It provides a moral code of conduct. God also teaches us a variety of skills such as how to make stuff and how to build stuff. It gives us knowledge. But according to the science, we are just a combination of organic compounds including oxygen, hydrogen, carbon, nitrogen, calcium, phosphorus, etc with no purpose, everything due to coincidence. We are sitting here, learning different subjects, trying to find the meaning and the purpose of lives. It's kind of ironic. But the gods told us, we are, more speci we are more special than other creatures with his image with purposes. However, as you grow up, you will experience Many things that makes you doubt God's words. 
It even makes you question the existence of God. You will be confused by the voice of the people, the voice of the pseudo science, or the voice of the world. What would you do when you get confused? The answer is to go back to the Word of God. It will tell you what to do, and it will lead you out of confusion. For things, when all people think it is right, but the Bible tells us it's wrong, and it is wrong for sure. For things, when all people think it is wrong, God tells us it is right, and it is right for sure. So my point is, here is what people think is not important, but it is important about what God thinks. When God says this is wrong, and this is wrong. When God says this is right, and this is right, would you listen to the God's war voice? Excuse me, or the world's? You must make a choice. Spiritually, I do believe God has revealed Himself through science, history, and different subjects to tell people about Him. He used ma、uh, many scientists, artists, famous figures in the human history, etc., to show his wisdom, beauty, and magnificence. But meanwhile, I do believe Satan have do have been doing the same thing, and using some people in different fields to lead people into confusion. Here is the importance of the Christian education. We are here to train you with the God's wisdom. And equip you with the word of God, so that you will not get confused by the voice of the world. When there's a situation, you can recognize the light of the Satan. Don't listen to the world. Listen to God. The First John chapter two, verse fifteen to seventeen says, "Do not love the world or anything in the world. If anyone loves the world, love for the Father is not in them." Sixteen. For everything in this world, the lust of flesh, the lust of eyes, and the pride of life comes not from the Father, but from the world. The world and its desire pass away, but whoever does the will of God lives forever. As Christian, our hope and desire should not focus on this world. Christians are temporary guests on earth. The better one has not yet come. As a Christian, would you choose God or world? Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you, thank you so much for everything you have done for us. Lord, we really need your wisdom and your strength. As we live in this world, we got confused all the time. Please show us your way. Lead us. Out of the confusion, so that we can know what we should do, what we should not do. I believe that your words, the light in the darkness, it helps us to know better. Lord, thank you for your comfort and your wisdom for everything, and thank you for this time that I can share these things with the students. Please, to be with them as they grow up, make them your people in the future. Just pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank、you